be a trio like the artist. Hello and welcome to Stammer Run with me John. Today we're going to be talking about the long run and why it's really important. So like with everybody else, 2024 comes and I'm starting to train again and I'm just trying to train to get fitter again to try to get back to the paces that I achieved in 2023. Uh, at the end of May 2023, uh, the marathon that I did, I, it resulted in a stress fracture to the leg and I just sort of stopped for a little while. I went back to the gym and I've kind of got in and out of it um, again whilst I'm recovering and now I'm fully recovered. It's time for me to try to get back into it and try to get back into some real some real shape. So as part of that, my really key aspect of any plan that you may have, and that's the same for me as well, is the, the long run. So what is the long run and what is it for? So the long run primarily is to build up your aerobic base. So you basically have your engine and you need to maintain your engine, you need to increase your engine, you need to just increase your ability to be able to run, to be able to go for a longer time, to increase your lung capacity, to enable your body to, to process being able to run for a period of time. So the so the point the point of it is is basically to build up our base. So you know if if, if you're gonna that's the purpose is is it should be is it should be long. So how long should a long run be? So that totally depends on your circumstances, uh, the level. So for example if you're just brand new to the sport and you decide is I'm going to run the best thing to do, so a long run for you would be, you know, if you're running um, a mile now, you know, you may want to run five miles. You may want to run three miles. So that completely depends. But, but the most important aspect of an easy run is that it is easy. And you may hear people refer to an easy run as a conversational run. And that's how it should, it should really feel like. So when you're going for a really easy, easy run, it should be conversational pace. You wanna keep your heart rate low and it should just be enjoyable. You know, you wanna be out there for a length of time. The purpose of that is to get your, is to get your, your body acclimatized to being able to run for that length of time. Particularly if you're going to do um, a, a marathon this year, if you're going to do a half marathon, it's really, really important that you be able to be on your feet for a length of time. So for example, you know, if, you, if you're planning on being out there for four hours, your body really needs to know what it's like to be out there for two to three hours, um, you know, at the at a pace that you're planning on. So, so that's really, really key. Now, my most recent long run, so I tend to so for um, comparity, um, I guess, so I do some reasonably good times. Um, you now I come into the sport, I was 37, I'm now 40, and you know I come into it late and I just really, really enjoy the sport. So for context, for me, a longer run for me is anything from about 12 miles all the way up to about 18 to, 20 miles and that you know and that and that's and that for me is when I'm when I'm when I'm trying to train for um, a race and I try to really increase it so you know for example the run that I just did was about 11 miles and I would have liked to have probably maybe done 13 to 14 miles but again I, that was the first long run um, that I've done in quite some time so I, I did 11 miles I was quite happy with that um, Pace wise, it was a 4.25 per, per K or about I think 7.01 um, per mile pace of so 4.25 again is you know a good a good pace. You know, I'd probably like to be kind of more towards the 4.15, the 4.10s for an 
easy paced run, um, but there's two factors at play. Uh, one, I haven't been out there for a really, really long time, so I've not done um, 11 miles at any kind of pace for a little while. And just acclimatizing uh, my legs, and I was just really, really tired um, as well. So I've started to train more. So you know, and, and, and again, that that's the that's the thing about an easy run is is that they're quite hard to miss, especially as you've done all the work in the week leading up to everything, and you go to work, and you've got kids, and life is really, really difficult. So. That easy run is just really, it's really key just to be able just to be, if you can be out there for a good length of time and be able to run. So the shoe of choice for me, um, I have done a video on this shoe as well, is the Invincible Run 2. Uh, for my easy day, my recovery uh, runs, I use this shoe because for me it can do absolutely everything. It just means that I'm able to have an easy run in a in a responsive, a propulsive, but in a really comfortable, nice space to be. My only issue with this shoe is the heat. It dissipates the heat really, really badly. So I blister up in the shoe. I tried to counteract with um, some powder, but again, it, it, any length of time in the shoe and I blister, unfortunately. So the long run for me was really, really good. As I say, 11 miles, about 17.4K-ish, 4.25K. Um, so it's a good, that's a really good start. Um, for me, I'll put up some of the stats. The, I guess the downside for me, and one of the things I think about when I go on a run that's um, a longer run, is that I try to keep my heart rate um, as low as I can. Um, as well, so now I've kind of been looking around the 145 at the highest, and I guess that's the the overall point here is that the long run should should be that it should be a long, easy run. It's as simple as that, you know. Just just be out there and just really enjoy just being out there. You know, it shouldn't shouldn't be a slog. You know, if it's Sometimes it is a slog, particularly when you come to the end of a of um, a stretch of training, and you know every run seems to be really, really, really hard. But that easy run, I look forward to that. Easy paced every day, headphones in, you know, whatever it is that you like to do or to think, it's 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 a really good place to to clear your mind to listen to your tunes, just to basically just untune from the entire world and just be out there. Um, and that should be the aim of it, you know, it, it should just be a really enjoyable place to be, you know, be with friends, you know, have a chat, you know, you shouldn't feel bad, you know, even, even, even if your paces, even if you feel that your paces are low, that's absolutely fine. You probably find they should be even, you know, they, they, they probably shouldn't be as fast as they are, you know, like a 425 for an easy run is probably far too fast. I'll probably, you know, maybe towards the end of um, a block of training when I'm trying to do a longer run on an easier day, maybe I should be up to about 425 to 415 um, per per K. But for just an easy run, you know, I, 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 I should be down to probably about five minutes maybe 5.30, and just to really just enjoy that run, get the most out of it, really build that um, aerobic um, core, that base and that engine is really, really key. If you start to do it now, and by the time you come to race in a couple of weeks or months time, the benefit will be absolutely fantastic. And on that note, please like, favorite and subscribe. It really does help us out to get content out there. and. Thank you for listening and see you in the next one.